Hello, Libra. Welcome to your midweek reading. I hope that you're doing amazing. I'd like to welcome back my VIP members as well as my subscribers. I truly appreciate you guys. Thank you so very much for being there with me throughout my very long abs absence. I appreciate that. Those of you that are repeat viewers and are not subscribers, would love for you to click that little subscribe button down there. And also, if you're brand new, welcome. Nice to have you here. I hope you enjoy your stay and please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, while you're here, hit that thumbs up button because it helps the video to get out to others that might be in need. All right, Libra, we're going to get started here right now. We're going to see what we've got. And um, also, I'd just like to, to remind all of you that up on the website, I have 30% off, which is a little unusual for me to go so high. <laughs> 30% off discount code summer fun and it's up there for an unknown amount of time so hop on over there and grab your reading today and I shall see you in your reading all right so we start out with the cosmic heart looks like yours Libra yours is very likely going to be about some sort of romantic connection because it says devotion make your life a moving prayer this could also be de being devoted to your career as well or being devoted to your family or being devoted to your spouse or being devoted to, you know, a twin flame if you're a twin, you know, soulmate if you're a soulmate. Um, some sort of devotion is showing up. Let's see if we get love. Could be career, you know. Some people feel married to their work. <laughs> I understand that. <laughs> All right. So let's see what we've got. Ooh, yin and yang, twin flame, twin flame, yin and yang, okay. Could also be your own internal balance. No, 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 twin flame, sun, moon, um, empress. Overall energy is that of the hanged muse. Where's There's the chariot moving towards peace, moving towards contentment. Where is our emperor? Let's see what our emperor is cloaked by. There's the emperor in between the world, some sort of, and the fool. Okay, so the emperor is um, going through some sort of change in their life. They're leaving something behind and starting something new. So divine masculine, represented by the sun. For those of you that don't know, the Divine Masculine is represented by the Sun. The Divine Feminine is represented by the Moon. And so we have a very strong energy of inner balance here. Um, with the Muse or with the Hangman, we see a new perspective. It's a new perspective on someone's devotion. Perhaps the Divine Masculine is gaining a new perspective on the devotion that the Divine Feminine has for them. Um, or they may be getting a new perspective on their own devotion to the Divine Feminine. With the Hang Muse, somebody is seeing things differently and in a positive way because she sort of looks like she's having a great old time. It's not like she's, it's not like she's stuck on the hangman's tree, right? It's like sort of like she's sort of enjoying life, swinging through life, having a good old time, but something becomes illuminated to this person. To one of the two of you, something becomes illuminated. Sorry, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to pause, but those are my two cards there. So I love that. <laughs> and this is not a reading for me, but those are my two cards. So I love that. Um, so we start out with the Sun and the Eight of Wands. A lot of communication that brings this illumination. A lot of communication is going to be coming in that helps this to become realized, to help bring this sense of enlightenment. Now the sun is about enlightenment and that little eye at the bottom of this card is also about that new perspective which is bringing an enlightenment and the eight of wands is also balance so something is coming into balance it could be your own internal makeup you know a balance of that yin, yin and yang energy it could also be um, balance within a connection we definitely see love. We have the Two of Cups along with this emotional energy and devotion with Two of Cups, Page of Cups. Somebody's heart center is being stirred and lit on fire, which is awesome. 
Now, with this Nine of Wands, the Nine of Wands is an energy of never giving up, right? Like the Nine of Wands is, especially in this deck, in this deck, she's standing strong. It's like, I'm not going to let anything get me down. I'm not going to let anything deter me from my, my direction. So this person is saying they're not allowing anything to interfere with the devotion they have for their divine counterpart. No matter, come hell or high water, it's ride or die for this person. And that includes third parties and, and karmics, right? It's sort of like, it, even if they know there's a third party or there's a karmic, they're ride and die. They're still, they're still devoted to that person. Still devoted because of the beautif beautiful aspect of this connection. And we, he, we see here that there is some sort of regret very likely over a third party. So it does appear that there's some sort of regret over um, somebody not working with the other in the past or um, the two of you not building a strong enough foundation for the things to move forward in a, a balanced and positive way or uh, as a result of somebody getting involved in a third party situation. Both of you could have gotten involved in third party situations. Sometimes that's where you learn your life lessons. And then we have the moon and the page of emotion. Somebody has their heart light turned on. See like the light like shining forth from this particular card. Look at that. It's like all of their emotions become illuminated and, and within like the very core of their being See down here, this little, this little space. At their very core of their being, it's all of a sudden they're like, oh, I have to be with my divine counterpart. I know it. Like, I feel it. I feel it. I feel these emotions. I feel this love. I feel this devotion. I feel this, this sense of, of um, excitement. There's this, it's like their heart light becomes illuminated and there's nothing that can deter this person from going after positive movement here with their divine counterpart. It's like love is love is love. Love endures. Love conquers all, right? Love never gives up. Love never gives up. So somebody's feeling the love pretty strongly. Deeply with the moon. Deeply. <laughs> Deeply. And then we have the new beginning. The Empress and the Queen of Wands. Strong chemistry here. As somebody finds you, Libra, in this light of the Empress and the Queen of Wands, they see you as successful. They see you as, as you know, beautiful or handsome. They see you as um, somebody who can accomplish things in their life, in your life. They see you as somebody who's intuitive, somebody who's connected to other people that other people look up to. They see you as making an impact on the world in some way, in whatever capacity you're doing so. They see other people admiring you, and they too are having this sense of deep admiration, this deep sense of love. Somebody's heart light has been stirred. It's been stirred by your beauty. It's been stirred by your strength. It's been stirred by um, your accomplishments. It's been stirred by your interaction with other people. Somebody's heart light has been stirred and they have a new perspective on what love and devotion means and what, um, what they want with their divine counterparts. This looks like twin flame, my loves. All right, I'm going to leave it there, Libra. <laughs> I wish you well. Love and light to you. Mwah. Have an absolutely beautiful rest of the week, and I will see you for next week's love reading. Later.